What's up everybody, this is Matty Mo, and today we're gonna be talking about all the new features that are coming with Windows 10. Now before you get into the nitty gritty of what Windows 10 really has to offer, the first thing I want to mention is that it'll be a completely free upgrade for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users. You'll have one year to upgrade once Windows 10 is released. But there are a few KVADs, and Microsoft will adopt a subscription policy, and you'll be required to pay a monthly or yearly fee to continue to receive support. Now there's no, no word on how much this will actually cost, but I'm sure we'll find out more once Windows 10 is released later on this year. Windows 10 will look somewhat familiar to Windows 8, but we'll be bringing back the old start menu, which was a lot of people's biggest complaints with Windows 8. You'll no longer feel like the operating system is disjointed, and no longer will you have to switch between your desktop and the modern UI to access your favorite apps. Everything will be accessible via your desktop, including the old start menu as well. Other new features include an action center, which will be an area where you can check all of your notifications that are coming in, such as emails, text messages, uh, messages from chat programs, and so on and so forth. And also in that action center, there'll be a quick access settings menu with toggle buttons such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that give you the ability to turn on or off. Now the control panel will also be merged with the modern UI PC settings into one cohesive single interface. On Windows 8, they're completely separate, making it really confusing for users. There's also a new feature called Continuum, which will shift the Windows 10 interface from the modern UI to the desktop depending on whether you're using a normal PC or a touchscreen device. So here are some of the bigger features that are coming to Windows 10. Cortana will make the jump from Windows Phone onto Windows 10. The digital assistant will sit beside the start menu and can be interacted with by either using your voice or by typing in text. It can answer basic questions such as what is the weather, search your computer for documents on a specific date, and even find Excel documents with certain words in the title. You can even tell Cortana to play music and silence it as well. Another big feature is that Windows 10 will also be coming to Windows phones. It will be the same operating system and will allow the same apps that run on your computer to also be used on your phone as well. Now Microsoft is calling this universal apps, one app for any device that you particularly own that's a Windows product. Now also Windows phones and Windows tablet users will also be given a free copy of Microsoft Office. OneDrive is also getting some upgrades and they're beefing up to allow cloud-centric experiences between Windows apps and all of your devices, doing cool things such as intelligent removing duplicate copies of documents and photos. Now Microsoft has also said that they're gonna allow OneDrive users to add their music collection to their OneDrive account in the next month or so. So next up on the list is Spartan, which is a browser that's lightweight, intelligent, and has a completely new rendering engine. Now it'll only be available for phones, but it does a lot of really cool stuff. One of the cool things it can do is annotate directly on the web page. After you're done annotating, you can share that with another person who is using Windows 10 along with the native share feature. You can also Use the new clipping tool, which allows you to save a portion of that website to your Microsoft OneNote application or OneDrive. And finally, it introduces a new reading mode that strips all the ads from the sides of the web page and focuses on the text and images associated with the article itself. It gives the users more of a book-like experience. And of course, you'll be able to save those articles offline if you want to read it later. So next up on the list is Xbox, and Xbox abilities will be integrated deeply into the Windows 10 operating system. You'll be able to chat with friends, view your achievements, and access saved clips from games that you played and recorded previously. On top of that, Microsoft is going to allow you to stream your Xbox games to any Windows 10 device as long as it's on the same local network, which is pretty cool if you feel like playing on your tablet while lying in bed. So those are the big announcements surrounding Windows 10, but Microsoft also had some pretty cool hardware announcements as well. The first one being is a Surface Hub, which is an 84 inch 4K touch enabled display for the office. It allows you users to collaborate in real time and also offers pen input capabilities. So the last announcement was actually the most exciting announcement of the event. Microsoft introduced a new piece of hardware called the Microsoft HoloLens, and basically what it allows you to do is interact with holograms that take shape in your surroundings. Microsoft showed off this really cool demo of a man playing a 3D version of Minecraft using his living room as the game front. It looked absolutely insane. You can interact and create holographic 3D images and manipulate them in real time. Microsoft says this is not gonna need any sort of tethering or phone, and it's gonna work on all by itself. And one of the final demos was actually a woman building a flying robot using a 3D toolbox. The, the robot floated in her field of vision along with the object itself. She could use a toolbox and apply them to the hologram and move the hologram as she looked over her work. 
It looks absolutely really, really cool. It's crazy to see that this piece of technology is actually coming from Microsoft. The past few Microsoft events have been kind of boring and all Microsoft has been doing in the past with their Windows updates has been trying to shove Microsoft Office subscriptions down your throat. But the new Microsoft looks really, really cool and they're actually innovating. I'm actually really excited for the company as a whole. So let me know what you guys think about Microsoft Windows 10 or in the event in general. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.